Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock Where today I believe We are waiting at the moment for Mr. Musa to show up I think aren't we? I love these like above head kitchen cabinets so I can't wait to get the house just that tiny bit bigger so I can kind of start to make it more a place that I that looks like a home. I'm definitely going for like a home feel at the moment. I want to see if I can like, I don't know if there's wallpapers and things for the internals. I'll have to see if there's anything along those lines as well. And do a little bit of uh, playing around with it. But that's not a thing for today. Uh, looks like I've finished my fish porridge order. It's been a while since I played. So it looks like the only thing is four perfect bloodstone cores for uh, a mirror. Right then, can we even make bloodstone cores right now? No, we cannot. Okay. Right then, let's see. Uh, I would say let's get Chestnut going. And uh, let's go and hand a few things in. And uh, let's also have a little look. Anything in my mailbox? No. So maybe we've got a little bit of downtime today then. A couple of days just to wait for uh, Mr. Musa to show up. I doesn't look like there's any missions at all. No, nothing in the mailbox, no missions. Today is definitely a day for mining, finding things, farming, uh, befriending, <laughs> all that good stuff. Right, so. Got a couple of things to hand in. We'll do that first. Then I'm going to have a look at, like, what I want to do with everything. People were saying as well, like, um, apparently my board inside my house can be used to send the pets on direct errands so I think that might be a thing I will start doing from now on yeah. Roji boy I got your pumping pipes for you here you go hey there. there you go you're welcome you. so yeah someone was out was saying to me like oh it'd be so much better you're like because I was looking to make friends with pebbles and they were like in the comments oh you'd be so much better off if you uh if you were making friends with Rocky and Crystal, but I think uh, I might need to just reiterate it again that what I am trying to do is to raise people up by commission, such as Rocky right here. <laughs> raise people up by commission where I can, and where I can't, raise them up by other methods. I believe that'll work quite well. <laughs> hey, thanks. But if you look at where I'm actually at with, for example, Rocky, so I did want to have a look at this anyway. Rocky's already very nearly my best friend, so it's um, it's that definitely will have knock on with, and it looks like uh, Crystal is about to move up into the. Oh, okay, they 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 just have moved up into the friend category. Yan needs to move up into the friend category. I think I still have some diamonds, so we could definitely do that today. Um, and also, I need to take a few more commissions, and I need to get some uh, bloodstones. Burgess desires something. I'm going to do their desires more. I know that I do need the relic bags, uh, but I'm going to do their, more, their desires more kind of if I need to. Yeah, it must be at his house or something, I'm guessing. Oh no, I, he was there. He was right there. I just saw him in the map in the corner of my eye. He's over here for some reason. Having a look at an assortment of documents and papers as an award builder of the decade yan at the bottom the signature of the commerce guild commissioner reads yan the word commissioner is scratched out and replaced with president i can see why he'd be looking at that yes indeed so i will gift you a diamond and see if that will make you my friend today i believe i have got six left a couple of harmonicas as well keeping those for jazz because um pebbles i think i need to make the soup for uh, if I keep the harmonicas for Jasmine, I think that will go stretch further. That shiny scorpion should go to Fang, I think. Hmm. Ooh, okay, he's getting annoyed with that. I need to give him maybe some gold or something tomorrow then. Because he likes gold as well a little bit. But he just became my friend, so that's wonderful. We just got... But I don't think he has any friends. Nothing changed on the social network. Oh, he likes opals as well, so we could do that for a bit. Because diamonds are a love, but uh, I've given him too many. Yeah, he's got no friends. Poor dude. Does Jensen have any friends? No. Does Ernest have any friends? No. Vivi has a family, which is wonderful. So there's a few of them that that, that doesn't help with. Definitely. Andy is my buddy now. Everyone is my buddy except for people that I don't know, which is fantastic. Super happy. I can find out where everybody is from the map. 
extremely useful. Wow, I don't actually have enough clay to finish the bloodstone cores. That's insane. Uh, we could actually do a do a thing. We could buy clay from a mirror. She might even have bloodstones for sale as well. It's a thing. I do need to start giving Sandy presents as well. Like I say, there's some people that I need to go faster with than others. Uh, Sandy is not one of the people I need to go faster with, so it's fine. I can save the hats for like commission, uh, for like birthdays and festival days and things. Right, so Amira's store should hopefully sell. I could get two bloodstones. I don't think that's really worth it. So I'm just going to buy all the clay she has for now. She's got some lovely pots. Oh, and they do give some very nice defense points. Okay, good to know. I'm not going to buy them at the moment. Good to know they're there. And all these dolls. Okay. The little figurines. Okay, they don't give me any, any points or anything, but they might be nice if I have a little bit of space on a shelf or something and I just want to display cute dolls. That would be a thing to do. Pebbles is around. Okay, I think I'm going to just head back and get my commissions. I'm also going to have a look on my calendar and see if anybody's birthday is today or if anybody's birthday is coming up. Pen had a birthday on the same day as me and I think I missed that, so Venti's is the next one on the 12th. By then I'll have forgotten to check, no doubt. Especially if like a lot of stuff is going on. I tend to get caught up in the storyline if there's a lot of storyline. Andy, my man. Would you like Hello. a Scorpster? I'm going to give you a Scorpster like every day. But they have loads of them and like... This is cool. Six points a day. It's fine by me. Um, I think nice sandfish traps work quite well. I think that Andy is a fisher, fisher boy. Uh, so I'm wondering if worms might actually work as well for a few points. Oh no though. Okay, all of my animals he's sending off, but they're all sat here, so I may as well just send them by talking to them. See, I could cuddle them, but... Mm. Go collect water. Go collect water. Go and do some digging. I always imagine that Nemo likes digging like the best out of all of the things. I don't know why. And uh, Coco's having a little nap there. Uh, someone did say that there's some... That's there's some kind of thing, some kind of bird perch in the, I think it's a construction junction, they said. So if that is the case, then that might be good. Uh, unsure Chi, Arvio, and um, Heidi. Okay. Ernest with the meat stuff mushroom. a rough one. Okay, cantaloupe for Cooper. Let's take that. I already have the stuff for it as well. Petrified wooden stick for Heidi. I'd be silly not to take that just because of the amount of money involved in it. Um, canvas then, I think. I feel like there's not much. Uh, there's not a big variety of these at the moment. Uh, might be because I'm not far enough in the story compared to my workshop level, so it's only giving me like very limited ones at the moment. Let's see, who am I most behind with out of Chi and Arvio? Because I do have time to go digging around for things in the ruins today and stuff. So Arvio is at three and a half. Chi is, I think, better than that actually. She's at four. And then Ernest is at buddy level. Okay, yeah, we're taking the meat and mushrooms for Ernest and I will do what I need to to get the stuff for that. Oh, okay. Too many commissions. So let's go and hand in the cantaloupe to Coop. <laughs> I didn't know it. We'll do that, we'll go and hand that in and then I'll have room to take that fourth commission for the day. Oh, Miguel's there. That's so annoying. I don't have the present for him. 
Alright, let's find that into Cooper. Stay on task. She loves stay on task. I could go and play a little bit of. Thank you. Welcome. Could go play a little bit of uh, critters with him, maybe. But I think actually I'm just gonna go up to Construction Junction and buy the the planter that he likes. Downby apparently likes that planter as well. So once I'm finished with giving them to Miguel every day. I'll start giving them into uh, Darby instead, maybe. Also, people mentioning that tomato fish soup for pebbles, and I will be trying to make that soon as well. I can only buy one a day of these, you see, so I have to choose wisely who I give it to. Trudes, Trude stuff. Really doesn't put a lot of commissions up, so I find that it's quite nice to just give her oh, something. Thank you. If Depp Cap is around, him as well. But I'm not seeing him today. Even though apparently he is right behind me by the stairs. This is why Don't I love, to love, Tumblr love. Standard. Having buddy level and being able to just find where people are, it actually makes it so much easier to gift. And stuff. Nice, so that is starting to go down as well, so maybe I need something a little different for him too. Right, okay. Don't know where Chestnut has gone. Let's go and see if we can find Miguel and Matilda and go and just... Increase there standing with me a little bit. They probably were on their way up to the... I'm not going to worry about Ernest because I've got a commission to do for him. Heidi will be my best friend pretty soon anyway. Because sometimes it just can't help taking commissions for Heidi because it's like she does such nice ones. Oh, there's Matilda. Okay, well that would help. Down here, okay. Hello! Would you like a gift of a observation gave me a relationship plus one so I don't don't mind that okay gift you I'm sticking with the mountain roses for now I'm pretty sure there's people that would like those brooches I just don't know who they are I love it thanks so much welcome and then let's play some critters quickly I wouldn't be a a day in the life of a she lab playing Sound rock if I didn't play critters. Someone was saying that the only thing that Pebbles ever plays in critters is cats, so I might just try like playing loads and loads and loads of foxes. <laughs> See if that is true. I lost. Oh well. Fox and maybe mouse. I've won anyway. Victory! I like to, I mean, as much as I could go around every single resident every day and play critters a hundred times over with each of them, and that would probably get me to best friends with like most of them pretty swiftly, it would be a bit boring. Okay, where's Matilda sitting now? Matilda, I think I was doing quite well with her to be honest, but I always scroll past her. She quite often tends to be higher up than I expect. No, a lot of people. I think has Miguel gone over her? Oh, why is she so hard to find? Like literally, my eyes glaze over her. She's like one of those aliens in Doctor Who that <laughs> doesn't. You only notice them when you see them, and then you instantly forget about them or something. Really? Why am I? Yeah, there she is. There she is, just behind X. So she's my best friend. X. X is her friend. What? Oh no, she's a friend as well. Rocky's a friend. Hugo's a friend. Nia is a good friend. So Hugo, Rocky, X, and Matilda are so so close to leveling up now. 
You go and Rocky, I do commissions for all the time. X, I want to go and give X some gold. So let's see if we can find where X is. Or whether X is going to be sitting on Fang. I think they might be in the clinic. And quite often when they're in the clinic, they're separate. So let's go and have a little... Go at that. It's a good time to do it while I've got nothing on. No festivals, no quests, only commissions. Wrong one. That is not the clinic. And yes, I could be doing my commissions, but... Oh well. Yeah, Fang's over there. Where's X? Why is X not in here? Where's he gone? Alright, well Fang, I'm going to just give you like an opal or something. I'm going to want to try something. A gift. I want to try something because someone said that that Fang Special X thing... Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Fang Special, Fang Special... Fang Special X, there we are. Apparently Fang Special X is very much loved by Mort. Uh, apparently, I think it might be quite loved by Fang actually as well, but I th but apparently Mort is the one. Oh, there's X. Right, hello. Hello, Mr. X. Right. Are you going to become my good friend today? If I give you a piece of gold. That's my last piece of gold. You lucky, lucky bird. I love it. I love it. No. I can't even play critters with you. I can observe you. Oh, I feel really bad, actually, for doing that, because he looks so unhappy on the ground. Oh, well. So, yeah, Mort, apparently, really likes this. So, let's go and him and see how that goes. Uh, so, find special X. This gift is great. Thank you. Oh, my mighty lab. These old bones haven't got a lot of juice left in them. But let's keep them going a bit longer. Can't say I don't miss the days of my youth. With a spring in my step, bright-eyed, looking towards the future. Now the future is here. Well, thank you. Your kindness of speaks volumes about your character. Oh. So yeah, that is really good for him. So now I've got that uh, available. That's fantastic. Right, next thing is, where is Miguel? So Miguel is the temple. Miguel is over by the civil hall. Okay. Head over there quickly. Heading back and forth across town, making people friendly with me. Worst things I could be doing with my time. And then once I've handed that into Miguel, I'm going to go and do a few commissions. Where is he? Oh, is he up by Waterworld? He might be, I think. I think sometimes he looks after Waterworld and I think he has to take like accounts and things from there as well, so. I still haven't tried giving a hairdryer to Pablo. I made one. I love it. Thank you so much. Welcome. And then also Critters with you. So Miguel and Matilda are like my main ones, Matilda particularly, and I do particularly want to try and get Pen right up there as well. But Pen is way further along for some reason. I had a few commissions for him, I think it helped quite a bit. I haven't had a commission from him in a while though, so I may need to just like try a bit harder, give him a few presents. He probably quite likes weapons and things. Ouch. I just placed Fox three times in a row. No one would expect that. I played Mouse on the first go. Ah! Fox on the first go. That's an unusual one. Exciting round, play again soon. Okay, so that was two wins in a draw, so I only lost two out of the potential maximum points there, which is wonderful. So we're probably doing great with him now. 
Yeah, he's catching Matilda right up now, so that's fantastic. Um, so three more hearts to go on each of those guys. And like one and a half to go with Pen. So we can do this, guys. We can do this. And then obviously, not worried at all about Hydeo in Burgess Unsure Justice. All the all the peaks other than the pen that are like my best my besties. Not worried about those guys at all. Uh, not worried about anyone really who's a, a good friend. So it'd be nice to get the friends up to good friends, and it'd be nice to get the buddies up to friends. So Yan is now a friend. Vivi is still a buddy. I might be nice to get her up to friend, but I think my best bet is actually to go and get Ernest's uh, meat and mushroom stew finger jigger done. And I think he'll be my friend after that, possibly, because that's like 30 points. If not, I'll play a bit of critters with him or something. Perfect day to do this. I really do need some upstairs windows, but once I do, I'll have no room for my paintings again. It's like paintings versus windows at the moment. Right, so, what am I missing for it? Me oh, I haven't even taken the quest yet, have I? Because I had to t hand in the cantaloupes, but I've done that now, so we're good. Um, eat mushroom. Then I want to go over here. Let's see. So, I need some soy sauce, I need some meat. I'm okay for mushrooms. So I'll go and get the soy sauce first, because I know that's the one I'll forget. Okay, so let's buy a load of soy sauce. Mm, maybe some rice. And I can always do with salt, so... We'll go with that for now. If I need other bits, I'll grab them as I go, but those those three in particular seem to be in a lot of dishes that I'm being asked for right now. So let's go to Mabel and see how much meat she's got. If she doesn't have much, then I might have to top it up with some Yakmel shenanigans, but she's got 10. I think that should be enough, actually. over here and see if I can make it now. So I need eight. So that's those on the go. Right, so then I also need to get the bloodstones and things like that. And I also need to get the petrified sticks and the six canvas. Canvas is on its way. Petrified sticks, I can just make those straight away. So now I just need to have, go and get some bloodstones. I bought the clay already. And I may unfortunately need to get some fluorite. Depending what it is that I need, I think it probably is fluorite, unfortunately. Mian, you better not be stealing all these rocks. I'll tell you that right now. But yeah, it's one of the things I'm, I'm, I will admit that I am not good at everything. I am a, a human being and I am not perfect. And one of the things I'm pretty weak at is remembering to put my ore refineries on. And that might improve later in the game as I maybe build more and... Oops. Sorry, Alpha Yakmel. I did not mean to hit you with my kick hammer. But all these tasty rocks were here, so I couldn't help myself. Oh, that's gravel. I don't need that. I need, I need the good rocks. <laughs> oh, 4,000 damage in one hit. I love it. I do want to go up to a chromium sword and shield, and I want to do that before I go through the ruins again on, like, you know, those, like, monster hunting commissions and things. Before I do any of that, I wanna. I don't have time to do those as well as all my commission commissions. Like, 
I do four commissions a day and then I can take four of those commissions as well. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> I feel like I should though. Right, the meat and mushrooms are complete so I can hand those in. The petrified wooden sticks are going to take a few minutes still and it looks like the canvas is done. So let's go hand those in and we'll do the wooden sticks in a minute. Is there anyone that I didn't see today? Uh, probably Pen is about the only one. I'm torn between trying hard with Pen and just waiting for commissions for him. So Ernest is in here, but hopefully I can still go in and I should so I'm buddy level, I should be able to get into basically everybody's everybody's room, everybody's house at the moment. So it's a lot easier then to hand in the commissions and to give gifts and things like that as well so i'm really hoping this will be what pushes him over to friend but we'll see wow thank you so much you read that no not quite there let's do some critters i know he's so he must be so close now because he looked like he was just about to turn and i've just earned 30 points so A draw. Okay. I'm gonna be sneaky and go with mouse. Oh, we've got the cat. Wow. That was not a foreseen play there. Good grief. Nice. Got some good cards, that one. It's always one step ahead of me on that first turn. It's so annoying. I'm losing this one. Hmm. One win, one lose. Yay! Ernest became my friend. That was all I wanted. That's fine. That was enough. Just trying to push the buddies into friends. It's really good because you. Uh, one thing I probably not everyone might know. Probably most of you will know this because I've mentioned it before, but not everybody will. You do have perks. Um, for example, I don't need as much, uh, as many goals for homestead upgrades and things like that. I've got discounts in the store with Heidi, loads of stuff going on. With uh, Pen, I actually already have all of the relation perks. So I don't really particularly, unless there's storyline stuff, I don't need to get him really any higher to get, like, not for the perks anyway. Same with Owen. Burgess, I'm going to get more stamina when he gets the best friend level. Which is coming up really soon. Same with Unsure. So I could get 10 more points of max stamina just from pushing those two up over into the like best friend categories. Mian, for example, defense points. Nia. Get some spear damage. Not as interested in that to be honest, but the point luck and the gifts are good. Chi, you get um, game center tokens. Great sword damage. I think X was a good one because I think X you got the stat the hundred health points, stamina points, and a point of toughness. That's really good. Matilda. Uh, when I get to good friend, we're gonna get some reputation points after completing a commission, which is gonna be useful for keeping me ahead of Yan. And then some stamina points. Um, with the pets. Friend, add 20 stamina points. Alright, oh, so once we're at friendship level. So where am I at with Banjo? So like Banjo, am I not? Oh yeah, so apparently with all the pets, as soon as they become my pets, I get extra stamina points for being them being my pets. Sandy, get some luck points going on soon, and then some stamina points. Pebbles, stamina and toughness. Actually, Pebbles is just like one of the um one of the animals. They all have the same pebbles. Is, is it all the kids and all the animals? Andy's a little different. What about Jazz? Oh, you have to be friends with Jazz before you get anything. Sends gifts through the mail. Advertising in the paper costs 50%. So it's 50 goals instead of 100. And five points a time. So loads of really cool perks, anyway, that you get. 
Just so you know, that's a thing that happens. <laughs> so we've handed those into uh, Ernest. So that's one more person who is a friend rather than a buddy or whatever, which is great. Now I just need to make those bloodstone cores. Need some more. Oh, unsure. Yes, I was going to find you, was I not? Thank you. There we are. So even if the bloodstone cores take me a little longer, I've basically done all the other three commissions I took today. All the other four, actually. Yeah. Oh no, I haven't done the petrified wooden sticks yet. They are they are on their way, but they'll be a hand in in the morning, but they'll be done to hand in in the morning. But I need some more bloodstones. I didn't get enough yet. That's fine though. Probably best to run over this direction. Because I've had all the ones over in the other direction. <laughs> I've had them. I have. Got a bonus stone there. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> so glad. All right, two more. Oh yeah, there's one. We had a good day for commissions today, and a good day for getting around everybody with uh, presents. It's always good to do that when you don't have a load of quests outstanding. Go and make those and I'll see. They may turn out perfect already. Likelihood of that happening is very, very small. Oh, I already own four really? Okay, well I can take I can take another one soon. That's fine. That's fine. I just I had them, I just hadn't upgraded them. <laughs> Muppet. Absolute Muppet. Right, so two of them are up upgraded now. I had two pieces of uh, fluorite. I will start breaking down some quartz because that gives me a chance of more fluorite. And in the morning, I think I'm going to have to do it in the morning now. I, If I don't have the fluorite by the morning, I will go and buy some, I think. Is there anything I want? I've got like a few hours until three in the morning now where I can do general digging, gathering, that sort of thing. So is there anything that I want to do? Farming. I will do a little bit of farming. That's a good start. Now I don't, I have a little bit of, oh, more bio crust. Well done me, yes. Got another good three pieces of bio crust. I've got, um, all of the trees are on BioCrest except for this one, which was like the original tree. That's about to go up to level two. So I will get it there, but it's slow going. Really slow going. However, the tree will always be there and I will keep harvesting it. It's very low care. I'll just need to put a bit of fertilizer on it every so often, top it up with water every so often. If it rains, it tops itself up, which is amazing. Still running on that rainwater. But it might be time for Dew Collector soon, I, I don't know. But I've just been so much enjoying having the extra space. Like, I always struggled so hard for space in early access. And I think a lot of it was having, like, a lot of Dew Collectors. I don't think I even need that many, especially with the pets getting water. Someone was saying they didn't know they could upgrade their water tank. I certainly do know that. I do know I can upgrade it. Just haven't got around to it yet. There's a lot of things I want to do. I want to upgrade um, all of the uh, furnaces and the recyclers up to civil. Then I want to get everything up to rare. Then I want to get the firepower generator and the water tank up. Um, and by the time I've done that, it'll probably be time to move on to the advanced ones as well. <laughs> so yeah, you know where I'm going with that. Uh, what am I doing? Don't even know. There was something I specifically wanted to do. I was being really, really good about it and everything. I, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Something that I went to the work. I was like, I need to do this in the workbench. 100%. Shouldn't need too much more straw, though. 
That is the one nice thing about the tree, is once you've put your 3x3 three three in, the tree will slowly upgrade your stuff over time, upgrade your soil, without you ever having to re-put down the, um, the straw grid. So you can get it up quicker with other things, you can get it up to the bio cross level quicker with other things but it's nice to it's nice to uh, plant the trees because you just don't have to worry about them they're very easy care and you get a lot off them as well okay so these ones down here are the, the they were all quite newly planted so some of them are still at level one which is kind of crazy and a couple of these are at level one where i've moved the bio crust over to plant the trees so that's a thing as well in fact we are at Quarter to one now. Should I go to bed? I'm thinking I might want to. There's still people wandering around at night. I think there are though. Most people are in their houses though. Amira's going for a nighttime walk, so is Venti. Oh no, Venti's in the miners' dorm. I should go and see if I can get in there. Because I think that's somewhere we we've never actually been in before. We've never actually been in and checked it out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to bed. There's a few other things I could do. I could go catch sandfish. I could go and mine up the, the robot junkyard thing. I could mine some junk. I could put my recyclers on. But I feel like I've done enough. I had a good day for social yesterday. And I... Oh, right. Musa's coming. Okay, let's get to the train station. Good job I had an early night then. I'm going to be looking my best. Relatively early night for me. Here he comes! It's Mr. Musa! Oh. <laughs> Mayor Trudy, nice to see you again. And you must be... the Builder. I've heard you were essential in working with Heidi on the bridge project. I was. Welcome to Sandrock, Mr. Musa. And that's right, you've really done your homework. Though I shouldn't be surprised seeing as how you're the most successful man in the world. <laughs> You will not catch me doing that stupid fake laugh that people in offices do all the time. And, ah, ah, no, never, ever, ever. I will nod solemn. Right. If anyone ever does that fake laugh at me, then I think <laughs> they're in for a surprise on how I'm going to react to it. Well, let's head over to City Hall. I'd like to meet with the architect and discuss potential plans for the road to Porsche on your end. Thank you, Doke. So, our architect is the great and wonderful Heidi. Oh, uh, sure. Um, well, actually, we've got enough time. Why don't I show you around a little bit first? Wouldn't be my first choice of plans, but I wouldn't want to be a discourteous guest either. Please, lead the way. Wow, he wants to get straight to business. Splendid. Let me first bring your attention to our lovely new train station. It just installed recently by... Looks solid enough. The rotating star on top is a nice touch. This is your handiwork, I presume? I worked with other people to make this happen. Y yes, thank you. Everyone plays a part around here. That's been key in our recent success. Yes. No man is an island, as they say. Shall we continue? Of course, sir. After me, please. This here is our game center. Oh, uh... Nakatori, don't make a fool of yourself now. Yes. I saw the original some time ago. I believe it was a small shack with only one game. And I didn't care for it. <laughs> wow. He... I, I think I'm quite a blunt person. He takes the biscuit. Woof. Well, that's all changed since now resident entrepreneur Katori moved to town. She's really turning the place around. Say, there she is now. Let's go say hello. How did you there, neighbor? I brought a new pal around. Perhaps you might recognize him? Oh, she's gonna get a shock. All right. Well, the promotion I was running ain't running no more. Another thing, stay out of the bathroom. Toilet's clogged. Trudy? M 
Musa here? Hi, I'm Game Center, and this is my <laughs> Katori, and... Oh, no. <laughs> I... I'm so sorry. Oh, um, shoot. I guess we caught her at a bad time. I could swear she's a real fan of your work. It's all right. It happens. More often than you think. <laughs> it happens all the time. I'm sure she'd love to meet you after she gets some air. I guess she's kind of the closest thing they really have to like a celebrity, so yeah. Right, air. Gotta have that. What's next? Ah, yes. Our next stop is actually what I wanted to show you the most. Our little wood. Do you know when he said, right, air, gotta have that. That reminded me of something unsure would say, did it not? <laughs> okay, to the little hmm, wood. That's right. The desert planning. I read about what you're doing in the Atar Times. Interesting stuff. It is, isn't it? Let's just step over here to this yacht mail station to your left. Ta-da! Behold the miracle of life. These desert woods that will one day flourish into a full-fledged forest, restoring Sandrock to its former glory and greenness. Hmm. Looked bigger in the photo. Ouch! Ouchy ouch! <laughs> well, yes, this has only been the first step. I mean, this is, what, a tenth of a league? Roughly that, yes. Double ouch. And it took you how long to reach this point? Uh, uh the point is the biocrust. That's right. The major development was in the technological department. Now you're terraforming soil out here? Uh, I'll admit I'm not as well read on the subject as perhaps I should be. Yeah, go do some reading then. So rude. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I'm more interested in the logistical benefits the road would provide to my business. I'm afraid I can't really speak to my enthusiasm for such a project at this time. Hmm. I'll have to come back and take a look for myself. Speak with some of my people back in Atara. Get a better picture of what all this biocrust stuff is really about before I can make an informed decision on how to feel about it. Of course, of course. You should also meet with our horticulture expert, Zeke. I'm sure he can answer any of the more scientific questions you might have. Well, furthermore, Trudy, I'm iffy on a few other things too. Uh? I don't go in on a project unless I'm 100% on it. Gail, I'm 100% on it. In Portia, they're putting their own money up for their end of the project. You lot, well... <laughs> you lot are poor. I mean, if you look at the difference between Trudy, she's out in the... Like, Gale is... He's lovely mayor. Really good, solid bloke. But he is clearly fairly wealthy. Portia's a fairly wealthy town. Um... They have a lot of water, they can grow their own crops, they've got farms, all that sort of thing. Out here, nothing really grows, everything's on a shoestring. Trudy, you know, she looks like she's struggling and she's worn out, you know? It's sort of like the desert wears you. And he he's kind of picking up on that and thinking, well, how do I get my money out of this? Not as easily as I do in a place that's, you know, living off the fat of the land, effectively. So, anyway. Everyone's heard the rumors. Sand rocks on the decline. And not everyone's convinced desert greenification is possible, either. Heard from the council they have trigger bills written, ready to classify dispersed sand rock citizens as economic migrants. Yeah, you've got yourself a hotshot new builder, and I'm a fan of your architect's work as well. But without good citizens behind the scenes holding everything down, I tend to agree with the naysayers. But they're so good, you just don't realize it. I need to see that your people are going to stick it out, even if things get hard. Anyway, do you have anything else for me to see? My awesome workshop. Yes, yes. Uh, this way, please. And last stop on the tour, that there is our super reinforced water tower. Huh, I take it you had a hand in this as well? Yep. 
With help, of course. Uh, how do I say meandered more, really? I see. So there are two accomplished builders here. Oh, that helped. I think that might have helped. The fact that he's like, oh yeah, that there's someone else here that's also a good, good builder. Furthermore, it is completely and utterly 100% bandit proof. Right. I'd plan to bring that up as well. Rest assured, sir. There's really only one bandit out there giving us trouble, and it's only a matter of time before he's been brought to justice. Besides that, there's really only so much one man can do. We've always built back faster than he can hurt us. Isn't that right, Builder? Yes. Best not to underestimate the power of the individual. That is fair. Especially, I don't know if your individual's name is Oppenheimer or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. We're not taking things lightly at all. How about a quick pit stop over at the Blue Moon before we meet Heidi? You must be famished after such a long journey. And our little walk. <laughs> the Ataran Express dining car happens to offer my favorite breakfast this side of the continent. What would that be? Ah. Uh, but they didn't have Yakmil milk. I have loads. Right in my inventory. I have my own Yakmal. For the most part, however, I will say I do like what I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Hey there, Mr. Musa. Glad you could stop in. On behalf of everyone, I'd like to extend a big sand rock welcome. I feel like I'm on Dragon's Den at the moment. <laughs> Uh, thank you. All right, boys, hit it. This one that I definitely didn't write today is called Why Not Just Give Us All oh, Your no. Money? Why don't you just be like a bit less obvious? Oh, dear, Cooper. Okay. One, two, three, and up. Can't help but get the feeling you lot are trying to butter me up. A little bit. <laughs> yes, well, it's just that we care so much about our town. I was waiting for the, 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 okay. The band is playing. I want to hear the lyrics to give me all your money. <laughs> that sounds like a hilarious song. You didn't run the lyrics past me. This is a song about greed. Oh dear. Easy, partner. Rich guys watching. Overcoming greed is one of the core tenets of my Church of the Light beliefs. You made me play a song about it. Oh dear. I ain't playing this. You ain't are you? Oh, oh sellers, we got it. <laughs> that smoke? Need some help here. Oh my. Give me that. Go, go, go oh, no. to the fire secrets. Oh, oh, oh god, he's got oh, the no. robot oh. out. Oh no! I told you it was no good. No one asked you, Churchy. We've got a code eight from progress. Over. Shoot it! Hey, baby! What does this button do? Burgess <laughs> no! Ah! Too much light! Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Let's never fight again. Oh, I love you, pal. Oh dear. Sometimes you Cooper's amazing. Romanians. Sometimes he's terrible. I, uh, we. I mean, I don't disagree with <laughs> with the sentiment there. I'm really terribly sorry, sir. This almost never happens. Almost never happens. There's almost never a bar brawl <laughs> with a robot. Look, the first rule of business is to invest in people. That's what I came here to check out. I'm glad I got to see this side of you all. Saved myself a pretty penny. Wait, wait, you mean? I respect the fact that you all have lasted this long, but I can see that y'all are prone to disaster. I see now why people are leaving this town. No matter what short-term success you might have, I just don't see a future. I'm sorry. And look, despite all this, I can still help. I can move you all out to the northern Ufala where the Alliance is setting up new settlements with their North Development Plan. They have water up there, unexplored ruins, and grazing grass. I can get you jobs there, safe jobs where you can't possibly harm anybody, or yourselves. 
help you get your lives back on the right track. The thought of you folk holding down my central hub? Nah, just not worth the risk. Wow. Huh? None of you are excited about that? None of you at all? You have an opportunity right now to move to a place where you're not always fighting an uphill battle. At my expense. I mean, I suppose that is nice. He's willing to put money into giving them a nice life, but they're not moving from Sand Rock. I'll be putting his hand up. Sand Rock's end. It's gonna happen with or without my help. So I suggest you all think on my offer. Right, I've got to bail them out of this now. Hey, old timer, what about you? It can't possibly be safe for you to be living here. Come with me, we'll set you up with a nice place by the water. Me? Oh, a kind and generous offer. Your reputation is well deserved. Maybe we should show him the photo album, eh, more. Hmm. But no, I'm afraid I won't be joining you. Man, what is it with you people out in this desert? Life doesn't have to be this way. You don't have to struggle and scrape by your entire lives. Yeah, I get that this is your home, but you can have a better home somewhere else. You could have a home in every town. It's more than that. If I may, Mr. Musa. Some time ago, there was a school a ways down the road. Sandrock was a livelier place then. When all the trees were cut down, the sandstorms got worse. We didn't notice it at first, but... The children were on their way home from school when it struck. An amber claw. The storm reached greedily over us. The skies went black. I wonder whether um, I got a bit of a head of myself on the photo album with Mort, because he mentioned a thing with the children when we were looking through that, and I didn't know what he was talking about. Some of the photo stuff, I'm actually finding more out about it as we're going through the story. So I feel like maybe I, I got a bit too far ahead on it, too quickly. Sometimes I get that with this because I, I, I am very hot on raising people's friendship levels quickly. So, okay, anyway, back to, back, back to the story. Martel and I went out looking for them, but Mia, Tang and Akil... Mm, Akil's grave is in the... In fact, I think all three of them might have graves in the graveyard. I think Tang and Akil, I remember. I don't remember Mia, but that might be there. I just don't remember the name. They did not return. They'd have been a bit older than yourself now. We made a promise then. A promise that would save this land for ourselves for the people of the desert, for the children, those that will be, and those gone, lest their sacrifice be in vain. So I think those children were probably Owen's peers. I'm guessing maybe for some whatever reason, Owen wasn't at school that day. Because I think he would have been about the right age. Interesting. For a time, I thought I would have to break that promise. But my son... He never gave up hope. And now, with more help from inspired young folk, like Trudy, Heidi, the Builder, their discoveries, I believe we have a new hope. My son is Zeke, for those of you that don't know. I believe in these people. I believe in Sandrock. I believe in Sandrock. I believe in Sandrock. Sandrock. Even more now. <laughs> Burgess always believed in Sandrock, but now he believes it extra in Sandrock. I believe in Sandrock with an exclamation mark. Sheesh. Well, what do you say, Mr. Musa? Will you give us a chance? <sighs> Sounds like nothing I say will change your minds. Hmm. Sure as heck doesn't look like you're going anywhere either. All right, fine. We'll do things the hard way. I might have judged you all a bit rashly. I'll observe Sandrock for a while longer. One more chance. But I need to see significantly more inspiring behavior. 
Oh, that's all I could ask for. Hey, oh, Mr. Musa, before you go, could I trouble you to enlighten us? What exactly is the Northern Development Plan? Is this really the time? Well, I'm interested. Answering your question would be the least of my troubles today. <laughs> sure, but I'll have to make it quick. It's no secret to anyone that tensions between Duvos and the Free Cities are rising again. Firefights are broken out over the ruins of Orzu and Ethia, which Duvos also claims. We can hope for the best, but we need to prepare for the worst. The short of it is, the Northern Development Plan is an Alliance initiative, one meant to beef up our collective defenses in the north bordering the Orzu area, should there ever be hostilities with Duvos again. A war? Do you honestly think it's going to come to that? No, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but Duvos and their ambitions are unambiguous. Many, including myself, believe that they wouldn't stop at Orzu, were Ethia to even concede that. I think their emperor has made that perfectly clear. Still, we are much stronger than before. Goodness! I thought the plan was just about jobs and stuff. Well... I suppose I'd take Sunrock of a war to run Borderlands any day of the week. Don't put your foot too far in your mouth. Obvious. Don't get me wrong. It is about providing new opportunities for anyone willing to move there. It's just that there's also a strategic dimension to it. Most likely, once we strengthen the North, Duvos will leave us alone for good. Ah, I see. Ah, yes. Well, thank you very much for answering Arvio's question and providing such insight into the state of our alliance. Huh. The people have a right to know. Shall we then? Okay. So I am just going to quickly head um, up the road. I just want to explain a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to go to the city hall about what he was just talking about, just in case any of you aren't aware of the geography of things. And then you said what happened? Oh. Okay, uh, we'll look at that in a minute. Yeah, your civil corps rained bullets down on that researcher's robot. Some of their shots hit various plates and dishes, sending food flying everywhere. I really thought they were gonna hurt someone. Uh, that's really rough. Glad you're okay, sir. How is it always that the wildest parties are the ones I can never make it to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guess we've got a comedian on our hands. <laughs> Reminds me of my roommate in college, a medical student. Never met an architect with a pendant for gallows humor, though. Eh, well, I like newspaper comics, too. I try not to limit myself. Uh, I can see you've got a sharp mind, Miss Heidi. That bodes well. Tell me about your plans. Sandrock's location is important. Could be the perfect time to invest. I'll show you why everything uh, we'll is as it is. So here is our map of the, uh, near the, center of the free Porsche city. Sandrock, you said free cities, etc. Um, yeah. Have some ideas too. So we have Duvos, uh, and we have Athea. I'm imagining that all the Orza ruins are probably on the Duvos Athea border. You can then see that Sandrock is sitting right in the middle, just below High Wind. Um, so I'm imagining that in the desert just south of Athea is probably just sort of probably I would imagine maybe just slightly to the east of Lucian is where we're going to be getting uh, the northern Eufaula. No, it'll have to be it'll have to be right up. No, the Eufaula is where that orangey bit is, so it's going to be just right up at the southern Athea border. They're probably going to be pushing that to uh, that new northern development plan. Okay, and then obviously uh, Portia's there. Vega Five is a little island there. Uh, Tall Sky right down at the bottom. Walnut Groove. But yeah, it looks like it's Lucian, Atara, and Highwind that are right on the battle lines. Which is why it doesn't actually surprise me that maybe they've done Portia and Sandrock first. Because I very much suspect Highwind, Atara, and Lucian are going to have quite a lot of stuff to do with the uh, 
upcoming war. So if we're going to be like sort of working towards sort of, and I can only imagine there's going to be a war with Duvos eventually in this particular thing. Everything's about that. Everything's about Duvos this, Duvos that, and it's always so. I could see them making like maybe another three games, like High Wind Atara and Lucian, and then maybe like putting that towards some kind of massive war with Duvos or something, culminating with My Time at Duvos. If they if they did that, if they did this as like a six game series that culminated with My Time at Duvos, I would laugh my butt off. Uh, they did a April Fool's prank one year where they said they were going to make My Time at Duvos. But the more I'm learning about Duvos, the more I think that that might actually be like a reality at some point. It would be very interesting if nothing else, but probably depends on how well these games do as to whether they want to continue with them or whether they want to do something else. Um, there's something going on in the Blue Moon Saloon. But anyway, that was why I wanted to go to City Hall. I wanted to do sort of like conjecturize a little bit, but also show you like what uh, Musa was actually talking about. So I hope that that's useful for you. I love having the map in the town hall because it means you can always just go and have a, a good look at things. Right, so someone's got something going on in here. I don't think we picked up any quests from all of that stuff. Ah, oh, gee. Don't tell me you want me to fix your don't robot. Don't worry, precious. We're going to get you fixed up soon. As long as you haven't uh, messed up the power source, we should be all right. Hey, thank goodness you're here. Can you take a look at the mobo suit? It's a bit shot. I'll take a look. I keep a care package with various mobo suit repairing materials on hand for just such an occasion. I need only your tool expertise. Shall we then? How many times have you broken this and made me unfix it? Don't lie now. Fantastic work. This repair was far quicker than its last. The rate of progress you've maintained since arriving here as a builder is statistically improbable. You should be proud. Now, if you will excuse me. I mean, I do try. 30 G relationship, fantastic. I, I done wrong. As soon as I heard that rich fella wanted to do an investment on us, I, two big gold signs appeared in my eyes. I was blind, but now I see. Ah, happy to the best of us, brother. Now let's throw the sheet music in the fire and never speak of this again. <laughs> I want to hear the song. I want to know what the lyrics Ooh. were. <laughs> A lot of cleaning to do. <laughs> At least nothing exploded this time. I feel bad for Grace, though. She hates this part of the job. <laughs> Not me, though. Uh, go ahead and throw another pie at the wall. <laughs> uh, uh, d don't really do that, please. No, I, I have some civility. <laughs> I would not do that to you. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm and gonna Dombie. have to rebuff all this burned wood furniture. This is the worst disaster to ever happen in Sandrock history. Did you not just hear the bit where there was a massive sandstorm and all the children died? No? <laughs> what about the sandstorm that Ma just told us about? <laughs> uh, I had you there, Dambi. I had you there. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I forgot about that. Uh, still top three for sure, though. Oh, that boy. Honestly. Can I help with any of the cleanup at all? Grace face, you alright? Do you want an opal? Let me cheer you up. Okay, I'm just gonna give this to you to literally cheer you up because I feel like you're having a bad day. Thanks a lot. Welcome. And then we're gonna head to the civil call and buy myself two fluorite pieces. Because now we're back on track with all the commissions. So I don't think that we actually picked up any new commissions or missions or anything like that. I imagine there'll be some stuff in the post in the morning. So we'll probably get to that next episode. It's been a lot of story stuff this episode, so... We don't really need much more to do today, do we? So, Pen, I would like to gift you... I want 
gonna try and give you a mountain rose. I wanna see how you do with those. I can't remember if I've given them to you before or not. And how you did with them. I know food generally. I'm gonna give you a steamed sandwich. Thank you. Actually, he liked that quite a bit. He likes food, I think. Captain? Uh, were you getting fed up of opals? You were a bit, weren't you? I'll try giving you a, uh, I'm gonna give you a sandakuda. That was all right. Okay, and then I'll go back to opals then. Um, all right, civil core. I am, I am trying, like, every time I run somewhere, I'm wanting to give someone a present. So this bounty board. They're still all like level one. I don't know whether they go they're gonna go up in level as I open different ruins. Or whether they'll always stay level one, because they're one star at the moment. Also, just so that you know that I've seen your comments, um this tab here, you can look for specific things. So if I wanna post something for um, like I could do duration three days and I could do like 30 meat for 697 goals for example so that then becomes a lot uh, easier because I'm gonna always need that and you could also do like fine hair and things like that I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't know maybe I should maybe I should maybe meat is important I don't know is isn't it which I should so that I've got it there like those commissions are always really always really good but I'll give them like as big a duration as I can so that I got the smallest amount that I have to pay for it so yeah that's a lot better because when I'm just doing like monster hunting I I could spend 240 and come back with two pieces of meat and that was ridiculous it was nice to have like the yakmel hair and the feathers and the rib meat and the animal skin and stuff but to be honest the thing I need the most is meat so let's go here and let's get my two pieces of fluorite uh, at the moment I've got 297 ruin tokens so if I'm going to the ruins a bit more often and doing some of these um, monster quests I would end up with a lot more ruin tokens um disgruntled clean obot maintain obot starby and a sand pony I think they're all in the ruins. How come one has got a blue background? I don't know why that would be. Like I know that blue and green means different things. Normally. Is blue, does blue mean it's in one ruin and green mean it's in another? A Starby and a Sand Pony, I know they're all in that one ruin. I bet the Disgruntled Cleaner Bot is, because if there's a way to tell which ones are in which ruins, that would be quite useful. So if it's that, that would be good, but I'm not taking those today. This episode is long enough without me doing that. Okay. So I haven't even taken any commissions yet. <laughs> We're an hour and nine minutes into the episode. It's going to be a long running episode again. I don't even care. It happens sometimes. Did I not call? There you are, Chestnut. Okay. I can't really change the colour now, can I? I wonder what colours we can have. Like, uh, there's, def there's a, like a thing to change the colours. Oh, I do have, I do have things in the post immediately that I need to do, apparently. So from Katori, uh, dear esteemed partner, the net income of the Golden Goose Entertainment LLC this quarter is minus 2,352 goals in total. The net profit after deduced, deducting labour costs, water, electricity is zero goals. According to your share, you will receive a dividend of zero goals. Oh dear. Katori is not doing well, clearly. And the intermediate forging machine acquired. Lovely. My share is zero goals. That doesn't seem quite right. Maybe I should ask Katori what happened. 
No, it doesn't really surprise me. None of these new plants even remotely resemble anything space related. I cannot continue to support this unprofitable, spaceless venture. Please return my funding. If she'd have built a spaceship and had gone a million pounds into debt, I don't think he would have cared. <laughs> He'd be like, go ahead, carry on. Well, uh, Director. Yeah, I want my simoleons back too. You said we was going to get rich quick. It's been quick already. Plus, Elsie's already bored of the new game. Said it's a grind fest. Six out of ten at best. Aww. I mean, the new game, to be fair, is actually the Mahjong table, so that's one out of ten in my book. And I ain't even got started on that new museum stuff. Bunch of age of corruption nonsense. Someone's got to think of the children. Tried it myself. Thought maybe six out of ten was a bit harsh. But still, it's no game of the year. No wonder nobody's showing up to this thing. Upgrade? <laughs> More like side grade. My entire back just went clunk, 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 clunk into alignment, and I just pulled myself up in my chair a bit. <sighs> and I can't sleep with you blasting those speakers day and night. Why are you spamming us with ads? We all live here, gosh darn it. Why the heck do I invest in these darn video games? I can't even comprehend them. Yeah, I never should have invested all this money just to impress my niece. You talk a good game, cat, but this ain't it, I'm afraid. This whole thing is just never gonna work. So let's just cut our losses now and... Right, yes, of course. I understand everyone's concerns. If that's how you all feel about it, I'll find a way to return your investments. See to it that you do. Else I may have to return. Yell at you some more. Wow. Uh, yeah, no pressure, but the sooner the better. Let me know if you need any help with the math. Oh, well, Jasmine, you're still here. Here's your investment, repaid in full. Five goals. It's okay, Ankitori. I've got five more goals today for delivering the news. I'm kind of made of money these days. You better keep it. You need it more than me. Thank you, sweet pea. Aww. <laughs> yep. Hope things get better. See ya! I have like 65 grand in my account. I mean, I could do with a... I'm saving up for a workshop upgrade in 30 grand's time, but... Maybe you need it more? Nah, I definitely need it more. That workshop's cramped as anything and I need to build... Wayne collectors. <laughs> oh, Katori looks really sad. What should I say? Hey, are you okay? I don't care about the dividend. Are you okay? I... Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I really fouled this all up. Nobody came. I... I don't know why, but nobody came. Now, half of our partners won out. More! Almost everybody! And... I already spent the first round of investments. This new game center was supposed to pay for itself. How am I going to pay everybody back? I'll have to sell some things, but I'll come up with something for you guys. Just need a bit of time. I... I let you down, too. If you want out, I wouldn't hardly blame you. Nah, businesses never make a profit in their first year. Except my YouTube channel. It made, like, 10p. <laughs> I'm not giving up just yet. Uh you really i thank you well at this point it's really just you and owen if not for you guys i'd be packing it all up don't worry about owen he's minted it's fine look at his house he's got like three stories in his home gym well if you guys ain't discouraged sure would be a bad look for me if i start wavering okay let's keep moving forward for now though I need to think on this stuff for a bit. Try to figure out where it all went wrong. Let's catch up again sometime. Under better circumstances. Okay, and continuing this feature-length film of an episode. <laughs> it's one of these days where everything happens, and I, I've just made my peace with the fact that it happens sometimes. Doesn't matter at all to me. 
I'm not in the business of splitting episodes anymore either. If it comes out an hour and a half or two days, it comes out an hour and a half or two days. If, uh, if this had been the first day in the episode, I probably would have capped it at the end of the day, but it's not, so that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay. I haven't even, like, put my recyclers on or taken any commissions yet or anything. Uh, oh, yes, I should be able to upgrade those power, those bloodstone cores. Let's not go from... <laughs> Let's not go from perfect to rare. Let's go from uh, ordinary to perfect. Okay, good stuff. Learned that lesson. Have a look what commissions we've got today. Canvas, switchboard, bloodstone, sauce, frying pans for Mabel. That's always a good one. Little Mabel, you know, we could always do with some extra with her. Let's see what's on this one. So, ah, rhino, rhino horn cacti for Miguel. Perfect. That's just what we need. And tomato fish. Yes. And I'm going to make some extra for pebbles. Yes, let's do that. Cooking for the win. So, tomato fish requires... Oh, no. Eggs. Where are we going to get eggs? I'm going to have to go and like take down a load of roosters. Well, it's not the worst thing ever. But we've got loads of sand leek and tomatoes for it. So, we just need to go fishing. And also pick up some eggs. Um, the cactus for Miguel, I can hand straight in, so let's do that. And also hand in a mirror. That one. And see what else I can pick up after I've done that. I wonder if Mr. Musa has anything more to say. Let's go and have a chat. I don't think Musa is someone I can get, um, friendly with, though. People think that if they just copy what I do, they'll be rich and famous. But they kind of missed the point. You need introspection. It's not about me. It's about you. It's not about the way... The way... It's not about what you do. It's about the way you do it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't 100% like him. That's just my take. Uh, a mirror. And the girl's up there. Okay, so I want to be riding around this way. And if I'm smart, I'll buy Miguel a nice present at the same time. And then play... If I can get 26 plus like 17, that's uh, 36, that's like 45 already. Oh, man. We were supposed to be welcoming Musa to Sandrock. It's really so difficult to behave properly for a single day. Oh, that's the thing about first impressions, isn't it? You only get one. Thank you. Uh, I did go a little bit out of my way because you wanted them perfect, but, you know, that's fine. I don't mind. Where's your door? <laughs> there. She hit the door, guys. There she. Right, so if I jump over here... Jump into Construction Junction. So I reckon I could get like 55 points with Miguel in one day. If I play my cards right. So I'm going to get him one of these. I hope that it hasn't run run its course yet. Because eventually I'm going to have to maybe gift him a mountain rose or something. Just to break the chain. But I'm hoping that it hasn't run out quite yet. For some reason Miguel is in City Hall. Don't know why. Yes, sometimes he comes in here for reasons. Read some books. Never should have built that man such an abomination. Builder, the church. Have we strayed too far from our principles? No, but she likes to play robot suit, so you know, it's just a thing. He really should leave that to other people who can drive. All right, so here's your request board stuff. Thank you. Welcome. Hmm. If it truly is a miracle Mort was able to change Musa's mind about us, I hate to be cruel, but it would be completely incorrect to suggest that this incident has given us some indication as to who is and isn't pulling their weight around here. Well, you know what? She made a big boo-boo, but doesn't mean he's not pulling his weight, for example. I will gift you this. Thank you. 
Yeah, okay, so we need to change it up for you. I thought that would start to happen. Um, let's play critters as well. Make up for it. We're still going to have a good day with him though, I think. I feel like I might need to give um, Matilda something else today as well. I've given a lot of things in a row. Mountain Rose would work with Trudy today as well, so I'll switch it up a little bit. Trudy, I tend to alternate between Mountain Rose and Opal, and she's doing quite well off the back of that. Okay. Doing quite well, I think, so far. Ouch. lose this one if I'm not careful. I'm, I'm gonna play cat. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> That's another plus nine. So Miguel, I'm thinking, might have actually now overtaken Matilda. Yes. And is about to hit good friend, I think. Is Hugo a good friend? No, but Nia is. So Hugo and Miguel, I think, are just like so close. So, so close. I just keep giving X shiny things. Yan has just become my friend. I feel like I need to do more with Yan. I am going, I think. I know this has been a long day. I think I'm going to take Yan on a date. We're going to go and play some. I think we're going to go and play some. Uh... Oh, Trudy, Mountain Rose for you. Like it's a mountain rose day. Oh, thank you. Welcome. <sighs> Could the party at the blue moon have gone better? Yes. Could it have gone worse? Uh, not really. Can we recover from this? I'm hopeful. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like I need critters with Trudy today. I may take Trudy on a date at some point just to see what she says when we go to the bench. Might be quite interesting. I'll take Jasmine on one though. So the day out that we had with Jasmine is going to be the the only one that we probably get. Yan, come here. Why can't I talk to you? There we are. How am I supposed to scam you, sir, when you lunatics almost scare him out of town on the first day? Freaking amateurs. No, no, no I'm sorry to yell. Not you, newbie. You're one of the good ones. The passable ones. Right, diamonds kind of didn't work too well yesterday. You like things that are quite shiny and nice. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go with... Opal, spinel, something like that. Maybe we'll just do opal. Opal's a safe place. Not bad, newbie! And then diamonds will work again tomorrow, hopefully. So we'll take you ah. on a date as well. And we're going to go up to the game centre and play some whack-a-mole, I think. Yes, a couple of rounds of whack-a-mole. And if I beat him, I think I get seven points. I think that's always the case. So we could do 21 points worth just on the whack-a-mole game. Which wouldn't... That would go some way towards making things a bit better, wouldn't it? I could also have a party, but parties do take a bit of time, but they also do a lot all at once. So, that's kind of cool. Right, two points. Oh, hang on, no. Uh, three points, sorry. So one, two, three. I could get four of them. Play whack them all. I'm going to play it on easy and just see, like... Six 
And now would be a good time to queue it. You can have that one. <laughs> Stunned you. Time stop. Yeah, and you suck at this. 100 points ahead of you. Plus seven. You won? I've got half a amount of docky for insubordination. I get it now. You must have done something extra, extra. Good on you, Sheila. I would take it back. You've got the upper management written all over you. Alright, well, we're going to do it again. That's darn good points. Is there anything else we can do, though? Let's just see. We can do, like, um... High Noon Arena. That was sparring, must be. Do the Blue Moon Saloon. Actually, yeah, let's go and get a meal. Meal course. Uh, or should I play one more first? No, let's go get a meal. Um, because someone had told me something about the meals. Are you coming? Normally they get on the horse with you, don't they? It's odd. Uh, about how to remember what to get for them and stuff. And I was being really unobservant because in Porsche they kind of told you what to get and you had to like memorize it. But apparently here it's in the top right corner. So, although whether we can at the moment with all of this going on. Yeah, we can still dine. Yeah, sit neat. Let's see. So, uh, ask about work. Dine. Oh, ask uh -huh. about work. Despite having made it as a builder, I still have plenty of work to do. Plus, I have to keep an eye on you two newbies on top of everything else. So do remember that you have a brain. Use it. Try not to bother me with things you could just figure out yourself. Ask about interests. Let's just dine, I think. Hope you've done your research, subordinate. I'm going to be grading you in a tight rubric. Maximum 87 points across 15 categories. Let's see if you prep. Paid off. So... Oh, here we are. Bill must be more than 20 goals and must include an appetizer and a meat dish. Cold cactus. Meat dish. Alright, so that's it, is it? Oh, plus five. Much as I hate to do it, I'm giving you top marks. I reckon you know how to please leadership. You're showing a strong, ambitious streak. All these dishes are my favourite. Seems like you've done your research. Keep it up. And my nepotistic side may favour you. The one I take your people out. This is how we do. Ask about interests. Um, Ask about your favourite ah. things. Here's something I don't like. Eating commoner food. Only the best for this commerce girl president. Ask about interests. What do you like to do? Uh -huh. mm, someone needs to take better notes. It's not clear enough already from my rigorous schedule how much I love being in the workshop. Perhaps I need to broadcast that a bit more. Who knows how many others are as thick as you. A new poster or two will do the trick, I'm sure. Cheers, Sheila. Good chat. Um, can I gift you something still? Apparently I can. I'll gift you a spine. It's not bad, newbie. Gems, gems, gems. Even the name rolls off the tongue, huh? You know, I've always dreamed of being made of solid gold, but until then, wearing these will have to suffice. Good job, newbie. And that's it. And we got 28 points from that. That was really good. So I can end the date. Hang out, even. Fine time indeed. You really put the, pr the pro in quid pro quo. Now, I'll see if I can't make something happen for you down at the, the guild, but I won't make any promises. So long. Burgess, you want something to say to me? I believe in Sandrock. Did somebody say new catchphrase? I think somebody said new catchphrase. Okay, so we're, we're getting there, guys. Sorry, this is such a long episode. Right, I need to basically now, I think, just go and... But that was good, because for Yan, that was a good 35 points or so. However, like... 
how think how long that took compared to doing like commissions. Commissions do take a bit, but are there any more I can take now? Two out of four. I'm gonna do frying pans for Mabel. I've done all of those. Wow. And I think I'll do canvas because I think I still had enough stuff to make more canvas. Every time I go by the moisture farm, which admittedly isn't that often, I do try and pick up the jute for it. Oh, okay, I'll buy two off, uh, off Vivi. That's fine. My petrified wooden sticks are ready. Okay, cool. So I need to go fishing for another uh, eight sand carp. And then I need to go and take out roosters until I have enough eggs. I have one egg right now. And that is where I will get more. Way too long for that. That's so sorry about that, guys. Ah, I can't. My mouse got caught. Ah, that's frustrating. All right, let's go again. My mouse keeps running off the, s the edge of the screen. Very super irritating. That. Of course, I'm catching sandacuda because that's the one thing I don't need. Oh no, I've got a sand carp there, so that's one. No, it's not even two. And if I can catch the Sandicuda, I will get them because they will be useful at some point. Right, that's three, I think. I may have to do some of these commissions tomorrow. It's been a busy day. It's been a busy old, busy old day. Five, I think. I uh, scared them off, unfortunately. I try not to scare them off if I can. Yeah, I've ended up with millions of bait because, like I say, every time Owen asks for fish for one of it, he hasn't asked for that in a while actually. For one of his like weekly helping out the blue moon saloon ones, um, so every time he uh, he does that, I got another like twenty bait. That was quite good. Just slightly off for getting the large carp there, unfortunately. Uh, I expect if I get this one, that's probably going to be enough. Let's see. What we got? We got nine sand pop. Yeah, that's enough. So now what we need to do is take the old sword and shield, head around the corner over to these guys, and see if I can get some eggs off them. One egg so far. Two eggs. I need like at least 11 eggs. And yes, I know that I probably won't get many eggs from like roosters. <laughs> but they need to, they need to go down anyway. That's all the ones around the back there, but there's quite a lot around uh, the back here. I did want to have extras for pebbles if possible, but if I can't do that and I can only do the commission, then I'll, I'll do that because this is 40 points for pen. That's a huge amount of social progress. So it's worth a little bit of effort. And a few chickens lives. <laughs> I don't know 
know the difference is between cockadoodle doos and rooster rocket dudes and like it's one male one female a cock and a rooster they both sound male to me to be honest stuff you more about it is a awful lot easier now i can basically take them out in one or two hits but i think i might have run out of them for now um how many eggs did i end up with nine oh, i need three more hmm. uh, am i gonna find three more chickens Three more chicken leggings. There's bumble ants like everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna head up the railway track and see if I can get some over in that direction. I think there's a few mushrooms under the tree as well. I could grab for some mushroom spores. Again, that's looking forward to the future for any more sort of uh, meat and mushroom stews that are being asked for. Or, no, meat stuffed mushrooms, isn't it? But you know what I mean when I say that. Here, no, we're, we're into hyena territory. Probably not too many chickens out here, are there? I might have to wait for a bit of a respawn. Mm. Sorry about that. That was probably quite uh, jarring. So. <laughs> okay. It's stuck on everything. Okay, let's see if we can go further around behind and whether there's any more. We'll go further around this way this place. What's that all fenced off? Any chuckens up here? No, no chuckens. So sadly, unless I can buy eggs somewhere, I'll check. Oh, I can't check anywhere actually. I need to go to bed. I will have to look for more chuckens in the morning. I think I have... Uh, taken out all the chickens I still don't have enough eggs for that but it's fine like it, it you usually have a few days to do these things so the frying pans need bronze bars which I actually don't have at the moment so what I would probably say there is why don't we oh pick up the bronze bars I already made yes that sounds good but why don't we also see if we can make some more even if it's just 12 No, can't. Not enough copper. Okay, that's fine. Go copper mining next time, I'm guessing, then. Um, we've got some fluorite again. Wonderful. Canvas is done as much as I can do it. Uh, let's see. So, Got the petrified sticks. Making the soup. Got the pans, don't quite have the canvas. Right, I think that is as much as I'm gonna get done today. And that was a good episode, that was full of stuff, wow. Sorry it's so long, still gonna be two today. I'm so I'm gonna record another one, totally. But anyway, I am gonna go to sleep now and I'm gonna say goodbye to you all. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more then please do subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome <laughs>